name's Liddy Wiggins and I've competed at four Olympic Games in the sport of diving. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mango chia pudding, which not only tastes great, but it's really good for you. So I think we're going to get stuck in and go for it. First, we're going to get two cups of coconut milk and pour it in our bowl. Now, the order of this particular recipe is not really that important because I guess at the end of the day, we're just going to whisk it all together, but I'm just going to step you um, through it. We've got half a cup of chia seeds and they're white chia seeds in this particular instance. I'm going to pour them in the bowl as well. At this point, we're going to whisk and it's really important to get as much air in there as possible just because um, when we're done putting all the ingredients together, we're going to leave it overnight in the fridge and it's going to form a really sludgy consistency if you like, which actually tastes delicious even though I didn't make it sound taste uh, delicious. Now we're going to get a product that's probably a bit left of centre. It's called Mango Baby Bliss and it's a mango type puree. If you can't find it in the baby section, you can probably substitute it for something like mango puree, which it would be fine as a substitute. So we'll put that in as well. And this just gives it a little bit of sweetness because without that, it probably tastes a little bit bland. And just keep whisking it so it's all mixed through the coconut milk and the chia seeds. So once we've done all the whisking, we are going to get either some larger containers if you want a bigger snack or some smaller containers and scoop, scoop it in. If you can pour this into a jug, maybe it will make it easier. So it'll become quite gelatin like once it's set in the fridge overnight and I guess kind of like yogurt. It, chia may be not something that everyone's tried. You can, so we've taken the chia puddings out of the fridge and they should have a gelatin-like consistency. Now, just to make them kind of pretty for presentation, I'm going to put mango slices on them. I'm not great at presentation, but you can either cut the mango up like so, or do slices like I've done, and also sprinkle some pumpkin seeds on top, which are also a good source of zinc and vitamin K, which is great for your health. So we're just going to add the mango on top. And if anyone's worried about the presentation, by the time they taste it, they will not be worried about the presentation, so don't worry about it too much. And then just sprinkle the pumpkin seeds on top, which also adds, gives it an added texture because it's quite like jelly. You want to kind of add some crunch to it, which is great. And then, all is left to do is eat it.